Spice Buds! How are you all today? Today I am going to be answering some of the questions that you guys have sent me about hair and hair dyeing and things like that. I put up a post on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook asking people to send me questions on hair and things like that and um, I got a few questions So I thought I would answer them in a video. So without further ado, let's go Quarantine. I'd like to start off by saying that uh, I am in no way shape or form any kind of beauty guru or trained professional at all This is all just my experience. I have dyed and changed my hair so much in the 29 years of my existence that I would probably have some light to shed on the situation so if any of the things that I do are wrong or like if you're a beauty fucking professional or something don't think that I'm trying to say anything that you guys do is wrong I'm just saying what worked for me and will hopefully work for other people as well first I'm gonna go to Instagram because well, I don't really need a fucking reason. I just wanted to choose Instagram first. <laughs> okay, so the first question is by my name is Jada. What's your favorite color you have dyed your hair? This is the most commonly asked question that I have gotten, got, that I've been asked. Yeah, that sounds better. My favorite color that I've ever had would have to be be this one uh, when I had it I could not stop looking in the mirror all the time I loved it and yes so I'm I'm gonna go with that one this one is by Millie and she says how old were you when you first dyed your hair the first time I got my hair dyed was at the age of 15 and that was for my year 10 formal I'm pretty sure uh, I got pink streaks and I would recommend waiting until you're a little bit older I think because you don't want to fuck your hair too much next question is by Maxine Powell and she says what is your favorite and least favorite color you've dyed your hair so I've already told you my favorite color the least favorite color would have to be the time I tried to dye my hair gray and it just went orange I would say yeah Okay, so the next question is um, from Scrappy Seconds, and this is a beautiful one, and it's very creative, and thank you. Besides shaving, have you ever done anything crazy to your pubes? The weirdest thing I think I've pretty much done would be I got a reverse landing strip waxed into my vagina. Nikki, yeah. what's the weirdest thing I've done to my pubes? Have we ever dyed them? No, I don't think we have dyed them. So yes. Reverse landing strip on my badge was well, probably the worst thing, weirdest thing. Yeah, whatever. Next question is from Victoria Mars. What brand of dye do you use and how many washes does it tend to stay in your hair? I love you and your videos. Thank you so much. I love you too. The brand of hair dye that I use is Bright Organics Semi Permanent uh, Hair Color. And this is it here. I have a lot of them just hanging around my house. They are $10 from Woolworths in Australia and they do the fucking job pretty well. On the tube it says it lasts for 5 to 30 washes. That's quite a broad range so I think that for me personally it depends on the colour that I use or how I put it on or how long I leave it in for but if I do like the directions on the actual tube uh, red doesn't last very long just for your information red you have to keep topping it up blue lasts the longest and purple also lasts the longest um, in my experience I find the purple and blue definitely last maybe 10 to 15 washes until it's faded to a point where I have to put it like I have to redo it um, I only wash my hair maybe once a week, maybe twice a week if uh, it's really gross, but that's I do that so that I can keep my hair colour nice and bright. So that is all the Instagram questions, and now we're going to move on to my Facebook question. If your question didn't get um, in there because you didn't know about it, then make sure you go and like my Facebook page because if I do any more Q&As in the future, that is where they are going to go. What is this? What is this? If you want to ask me shit, then uh, make sure you go and like my Facebook page so then you will know 
next time I do a Q and A. What is the weirdest thing you've done to your hair in the name of beauty? I don't do anything in the name of beauty, to be honest. One time I let some friends shave a horizontal line in my hair. So it went all the way along here. Is that? That was not in the name of beauty though. That was in the name of we're fucking bored and let's find some razors and cut my hair with it. Another thing that I've done is blue like mohawk dyed into my hair and we decided that we wanted to also dye my eyebrows blue. I don't recommend doing that because we got dye all over my face and we tried to use hair bleach to bleach it off and I had red rings like red all over here and here because I like burnt my skin or some shit I don't know snoozy asks would you ever do rainbow dreads no I would not do rainbow dreads in my own hair ever uh, main reason is because I hate dreadlocks I think they're fucking disgusting and I think that I would look like a fuckwit I don't like dreadlocks Sorry if you've got dreadlocks, but they're fucking rank. Like some people can pull it off. I don't think I would be able to, is what I mean. Harley Lennon asks, what shampoo and conditioner do you recommend to keep your vibrant colors looking fresh? What I do myself is put a piece, a bit of the color that I've just used to dye my hair inside any old conditioner because I'm cheap and I don't have much money. So I literally buy like $2 conditioner and put it in there and I'll wash it with like that for a while. I hope that helped. <laughs> That's fun to do. Susie Elg asks, if you had a cupboard full of every color you can dream of, what, which color do you pick? Like a pastely like minty green maybe? Cause I've never done that one before. <laughs> That's probably why. As long as it turned out fucking perfect. Next question is, what's your favorite hair mask of all time? I don't use hair masks, so sorry about that. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today, which is your favorite year of style? Hair wise, I would say 50s, cause like they had all the cool like rockabilly shit cranking. I think I like 50s. You know, I could be bothered to do my hair like that every day and we had the skills to actually do it then I would probably rock that look as I have done here for my sister-in-law's wedding. Well Spuds, that is all the questions that I got asked. I'm fairly sure if I missed your question, I'm sorry, but this video is going for too fucking long. If you like these Q&As and would like me to do some more, then go to my Facebook page and like it and ask me questions there because I'm only going to do Q&A's from my Facebook page from now on. Go there and like it and you can keep up to date to a lot of the things that I'm doing if you want to. Or not, I don't mind, whatever. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me to know whether to keep doing these sorts of videos or not. And if you haven't already then go ahead and click on that subscribe button right there. The red thing. If your subscribe button is red, click it and it changes color. Go, try it now. See what happens. That's it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Mwah. 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 So yeah. And when my eyebrows are filled in, like, just don't even talk to me until my eyebrows are fucking filled in. What you need to do is hold this on your lash and just move your head like this.